Hi everyone, welcome back. And we designed our contact us section in the previous video. So now the last one, last section remaining is the footer. Okay, so let's have a look at our footer. So that's uh, come after the contact us form. It can come right after this or like, you know, I felt that uh, there is a white space going on on the top. So a little bit of white space over here also will do uh, up to you. Like, you know, you can keep it right uh, after this as well. So it would work. Okay, so now within our footer, so we have like, you know, uh, the logo on the top, you know, this is one div element. And then we're going to have three divs, you know, one, two, three floated on the left. And then we're going to have one paragraph element where the copyrights information is going on. Okay, so let's design it. I'm going to go back to Visual Studio. And we had this placeholder over here and now the footer is going to come after the main so our main section is done so let's have it footer and i'm going to actually cut this placeholder and for the moment while we are designing it place it after my footer element so i have some space to see that you know how my footer is coming along okay so now within my footer and one more thing that all of my content is coming inside the container now you can put it you can span it along the full uh, width of the browser up to you you know and uh, uh, or you can put it i have put it in the middle of the page with the help of the container so i'm gonna do the same over here so let's have a container okay now within that container i'm gonna have footer logo okay dot footer logo and in that i'm gonna have img and dot footer logo img source is going to be img and then logo this is logo light data consultants logo that's going to be the alt text and that's it okay so all right okay let's have a look so yeah at the moment the logo is really big yeah so let's actually start uh, designing it start styling it so before the placeholder i'm gonna have this is my footer dot uh, okay, so I have not given any class to footer and there is only one footer so I can directly select the element footer and padding padding is going to be let's try with five or four RAM on the top and bottom and zero on the left and right background color background color is going to be our primary dark one okay then what else that's it actually for the moment then my footer logo that's the div in that i i'm just gonna say the text align is center then my image and that's going to be footer logo img and height is going to be 8 ram let's have a look and this is my footer coming along height is a little bit more six ram six ram looks good okay and the padding is also fine yeah okay now my this footer logo this is the div i can give it a border bottom and that's going to be one pixel solid and the color i'm gonna use here is primary light one okay so that's going to be primary light one let's see so yeah i'm happy with this but i just want to dim it a little bit so for that let's take primary light one the color code of it let's come down to my footer okay and right now i'm gonna go back 
to my color wheel and something like this maybe point eight nope point six even point four and point four point four is fine yeah okay now I need to push this border a little bit down and for that I'm gonna say padding bottom and that's going to be two rem and here it is so this is my logo looking nice okay so after my logo what else I have then I have these three devs going on so let's first have these three devs maybe what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give this uh, central dev a width of uh, we will try with the 20% and this is going to be 40 40 or maybe this is 30 and then the remaining going to be 35 35 like you know we can try with this with it so first of all this is my footer logo div and right after this I'm gonna have footer text div okay and I know I'm gonna float it to the left so let me clear the float okay and now this is my footer text div width is going to be 40% uh, float is going to be left at the moment I'm not gonna see anything over here but uh, we will see shortly okay then footer text div after that I'm gonna have another div in fact let's first design this so in this one I have one heading and some text so for the heading I'm gonna have h1 dot footer heading heading and this is gonna say our services and after this footer heading I'm gonna have a paragraph that's going to be footer text and I'm gonna copy this content from my word file where it is so that's my footer let me have this over here in the write-up you would find more contents like you know I, but I kind of now you can uh, design this layout very easily with the knowledge you have gained so I have kind of kept it simple really so this is my footer text let's have a look and yeah it is there at the moment you can see but because of the dark color it's not looking very nice at the moment okay so this is my footer text div and after that I'm gonna have footer heading and that's going to be uh, font color okay that's color by now you know that you know I always put it as font color actually it is just color so primary light one variable primary light one maybe in the footer I can use a different color but uh, light one let me say light two and light three i think light two is fine okay so that's my color font size let's try with 2.2 ram font weight i will try with 300 or 400 and text transform uppercase okay mm -hmm. okay letter spacing I can have a bit of a letter spacing and letter spacing is going to be one pixel okay so this is our services and the spacing from the border we will worry about that shortly for the moment let me say footer text and the first thing let me copy it from here okay so the color is going to be the same font is going to be 1.7 rem 
weight is going to be 300 text transform I don't want letter spacing one pixel and here it is okay that's fine now for this my footer text I can have margin top to rem yeah and my footer heading footer text div okay rather than having the footer text div pushed down what I can do I have this border over here so I can say margin bottom and that's going to be to ram and you can see that whole thing is pushed down yeah okay so my text is actually looking a little bright and I don't want that footer text light to light one and if I go to dark five this is fine yeah dark five is fine and in fact the same thing we can do for my heading as well dark five yeah okay so this is my text section yeah now the next two sections we're going to design but that we will do in the next video